welcome back to my channel and today I'll be filming a May update for my photo card collection. So a lot has changed since my last photo card video because I've bought a lot of things and I've also decided to start collecting Fasa from Amamu. So here you can see like a bunch of nothing and I also removed the cover because I didn't really like it. So and this is like my spine, the spine of the thing is a X1 freebie from a cafe event that I went to so yeah so it's just a plain vinyl for now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it so I have like a lot of random placeholders here and this one that flew out that's gonna go back there so we start with B2B and I put a OT7 picture because I have a lot of random things that aren't Yung Kwang in here so like it's just I like everyone, so yeah. Okay, so I actually changed this page up a bit. You can see that I took out the placeholders for these two pages. Originally, th this five was on one page by itself, and this four were on another page. But like, I decided it would look better if I put everything on one page because it fit it fitted nicely on one page, even though technically like. There's a very jarring difference between these five cards, the concept and the four cards here. But it is what it is. So yeah, I don't have anything from this video and I literally cannot find anything for move. I swear I'll never be able to find these two. But yeah, these are all the cards I have and I think this is one of my favourites along with this because B2B don't really do selfie cards. So it's very hard to find or have any sort of selfie cards for them. And these are the bags. And I decided that I want to collect the photo set for Move and also for I Mean because I like the pictures and it kind of matches the theme of how it transitions from like this to this. Yes, a very good explanation. And then this is my Remember That and New Man page. I feel like every page I have of B2B is like always like half of it is like the ballad concept, half of it is dance idol concept. But yeah, I, I'm still missing this, which I can find, but not for a very good price. So I'm still waiting to find it. And I decided to collect OT7 for this set. Even though technically this set is non-selfie, like it's all very... Like the teaser photos, the photo studio kind of pictures, but I really like this concept of the suits and how fun it was and also the bags are really pretty as well so that's that and then this is my random cards page mostly from brother era i'm sorry if it's very dark on top because i'm filming at night and i'm using a flash so yeah i really like this card as well i put chunks of both of these in my original albums plus this so i just kept them and then we have the This Is Us page. These three are actually just like freebies that I had, but like I feel like I fit the page nicely, so I just filled it up with those freebies. So yeah, and this is my original pull from the album, and this isn't actually from the This Is Us album, this is from the Our Moment album. And yeah, and I have this one Im Kwang postcard and two Song Jays that I pulled. I traded for the Im Kwang postcard because I have no Im Kwang luck. So yeah, and then this is from our moment, the pulls that I had and Im Kwang was in this album so I just kept whoever I pulled. But I really like this picture of Yi Hoon Nai, like, it's so cute. I think I'm going through this really fast. Okay, but I have two pages here for like Yung Kwang's solo debut comeback album that's gonna come out soon and also Yoon Shik and Sung J are listed and I feel sad but like to be honest like every other melody can even just go to the army can get list now and so that we can get a OT7 B2B during that 10th anniversary that'd be great okay but moving on from that this is start of um, my Japanese photo card collection so basically I just laid it out in the this is the CD album co cover art design like plate like meme plate kind of thing situation and this is the limited th this row has the limited cards and this row has the normal cards apart from this because there, there was only one card for a while so yeah and I really like the backs of 
the Japanese cards because they're so consistent, so pretty. And then we have this page and this page. I'm still missing this one card which is weird because I can find and I do have the limited but I can't find a regular version. I feel like it's harder to find a regular version as compared to the limited version. And in regards to this, it's just for like any future releases but I might be getting a sealed Minhyuk Summer Diary album so I might add it here as well. Because I really like that album so I'm thinking of buying it in the future when this whole situation wears off. And then I have like a very sad Polaroid collection of like I think have the his playground and his melded melded cards, is that how you pronounce it? But I'm looking to get his YouTube but I think this is probably the hardest set to find. And his seven our concert seven year seven members and this is us. I I still can find this online, I just haven't bought it yet. But in but for the rest of the followers, they're, they're gonna be a fun time trying to find them. But I really wanna have the Polaroids because I like Polaroid style photo cards a lot. And this is like, I guess random things that I may or may not want to collect. But I'm just leaving this page here for now because I'm too lazy to sort it out. So I got his, got Yung Kwang's This Is Us ID photo random photo situation thing and yeah so I'm also looking for the 7 years 7 members postcard and some penography photos as well because I really I quite like the penography photos so yeah so I just made slots for those even though I haven't had the time to or like the situation doesn't really allow for me to buy stuff so and then I set out a page for the 7 year 7 members random photo set because I managed to find one on someone selling on Twitter for this photo for like pretty cheap, less than 10 bucks. So I decided to buy it. So I'm, I won't be collecting all the photos because I think there's a lot. But I'll be trying to collect like maybe at least 2 more to fill up the 2 slots here. And then we get on to our Dohyeong collection and I changed this up a bit as well because I decided I wanted to put all his X1 cards on one page even though these are like technically blocking the two PCs but I think it looks fine and it looks quite nice. I really like this card so I'm just leaving it that way. And then I have his Kino and his postcards as well as his standees and please don't learn for me and try to stuff the two standees into one single pocket that's why you see this washi tape and this blue tag here because this doesn't actually fit although for some reason the bottom one does so I don't know how that works but yeah and these are just the postcards and just like a random filler that I made of the boys and then we move on to H and D so we have, I have both of Dohyeon set A and set B from the Happy Day family and I sold Hangyu's photo cards off because I'm broke and yeah so after this we have then the latest photo cards from the new album H and um, Soul Mate. So this is the Soul version I believe and this is the Mate version. So I actually have these two on the way. But not a lot of people are selling or trading for the cards, so I might take a while to find the rest. But I'm very happy that I got this one. I would say I still haven't gotten this one, although this is my other priority card. But this is so pretty. Like, oh. And also, I put this card in my album. It was. I really like this one. And then we also have his mate cards with, like, and I have this one on the way. I still can't find the other three even though I really quite like these two units. I actually put this in my album and a fun story is that it was you know how the CDs of Soulmate albums are like very shittily stuck onto the box? Well mine was shittily stuck and not only that, because it was shittily stuck, the glue part was stuck on this photo card and I had to pull it out and but luckily it came out okay. So it wasn't really damaged or anything. And these are actually his message cards. I actually folded them to 
make sure they fit into a nine pocket just to make my life easier but yeah so that's it for the photo card size things and this is like the large inclusions um i don't think they actually sell the, these like four pocket sleeves but like i just use the one pocket and cut them out just so i could fit everything on one page so that it look better so i only have dohyeon's so standy i don't have hangyo's I mean, I, I have Hangyu's made standy, but I don't have Dohyeon's made standy, which I'm looking to trade, as well as the Hangyu sticker for Dohyeon's because yeah, I, I need money to collect one buyers, one person. And these are the envelopes that the message cards came in, and they don't fit in my pocket, so I just threw them here. So, and then I have these pages set up for like, there's so many merchandise goods, but I'm not sure whether I'm actually gonna collect them but I'm just leaving these here in for now just so if I want to it'll be easier to tell what I have to but I might not because um, MBK actually announced that they're gonna debut a new boy group with H&D in it in fall so I might have to spend my money on that instead like save my money up for that which is why I don't really want to collect these things because especially, especially this set I swear it's just MBK being capitalist you can't sell two two photo cards for like 12,000 won that's like six dollars or more than six dollars per card if you consider like shipping fee and um what's it called money currency conversion kind of things it's just so expensive and I'm not willing to spend that much and then we have like this sad excuse of the collection for Hwasa because I haven't really had the time or money to really start on this collection because I find it very hard to spend ten dollars per card and um cards are like ten dollars per card and the very released. So yeah, so the only cards I have are the reality black cards that I traded for. And yeah that's pretty much it. This is like still the same miscellaneous session, section that I had before. I just like put the put the so like poster in here because I took it down from my wall and it's I'm I don't think I'll ever really trade trade it or something. And then this page is just miscellaneous cards that is the same as before. Um but there's this card that I got as a freebie but I saw someone listing it on eBay for like seven dollars and I don't know if it's actually worth anything so I'm just keeping it in the binder and yeah it's very sad that there's this situation so there's no cafe events recently so I might have shown this off in my last update but yeah these are all the cup sleeves that I have from events which are both basically mainly Mamamoo, X1 and um, B2B Actually, there's only like two B two B. There's mostly X one because I think X one just had more events in general. Plus, these two, the Dongpyo and the Mini ones, that are really pretty, are actually from the same event. Yeah, and then I have two of these because I won like a um lucky draw kind of thing, and then I got to get get like an extra copy an extra cup sleeve that I will probably give out as a freebie to someone on one of my pen pals in the future. But and I have this random Starbucks cup sleeve here because there was a space, so why not? So yeah, that's pretty much my updated photo card collection video. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll probably make an update like six months later. Just for my own reference I guess but if you enjoyed it thanks for watching and hope to see you all soon